<clears throat> now, the residents of Weatherfield think that she's just another friendly face on the cobbles, but Hello. little do they know, Debbie Webster is secretly in cahoots right. with the sinister the Ray Crosby, okay? who's scheming to destroy the entire street. The entire street? The entire street. Wants to buy the whole lot up, you see. Well, the Coronation Street actress, Sue Devaney, uh, joins us now. There she is. But eagle-eyed oh, viewers thanks, amongst... Thanks. Morning, yeah. morning. Sue, yeah, I'm, Sue, I'm building up your part here, OK? I'm building it. <laughs> We're what? building Sorry. it. We're just building up, right, OK? The eagle-eyed yeah. eagle amongst you watching this morning may have spotted that this isn't Sue's first time no. in Corrie. So let's now wind the clock back to the year 1984. Oh, hello. Is that Bill? Mr. West, is he in? Not at the moment, but I'll make him back any time for snapping. Oh, well, I'll not wait, because I've only got my dinner hour, you know. Well, if you want to leave a message... Why? You work here, dear. But it's somewhere to come. I mean, I've nearly finished at school now. Sweating for me exams, you know, CSE's like. Oh, darling, you must be Debbie then, Bill's daughter. That's right. What a pleased to meet you, love. I'm Mrs. Tilsley. Uh, your brother works for my son at his garage. Oh, you're Mrs. Tilsley? Yeah. Wow, what a surprise. It's just the idea you get a fork, you know, from what our Kevin said. Now, there oh, you go. Kevin. So that was Sue there in that scene that we saw there. 36 years ago, you were how old, Sue? 16. Oh. My goodness me. Yeah. And look, OK, a few things have changed, but you get, yeah. you get to come back. What was it like to get that phone call and then to, you know, be on set? It was absolutely amazing. I can't tell you, I was just so excited. And I think, you know, looking back when I when I was in it all those years ago, especially with the hairstyle as well, check that <laughs> hairstyle out. <laughs> but um, it is wonderful because you always think that, oh yeah, you've been in a soap or you've been in a series or something and they'll, you know, if they want the character back, they'll ask you, but sometimes they don't, they ask another actor. So I feel very lucky and very fortunate that they asked the original Debbie Webster back. Yeah, very <laughs> good. So you didn't have to think twice. And there she's come back with this sassy pixie haircut, giving it all large, businesswoman. But Isn't we, she the, isn't she? The we, the viewers now know though that that she's in cahoots with Ray Crosby. I just don't understand why yet. No, I call her Demolition Debbie. Yeah. You know, she's a business. <laughs> <laughs> she's a businesswoman. Um, and, uh, you know, she made a fortunes in Turkey and uh, and then she's come back to try and kind of make Coronation Street and Weatherfield a better place to live. But in the process, hurting a lot of people. So are, are you guys telling me here, are they trying to redevelop the street? Is that is that what's what's happening? And if if so, I do often look at Coronation Street and think, well, could it withstand the terraced houses being being knocked down? A revamp, you know, could it? Well, that's it, you see, a little revamp. And that's what a lot of places, uh, you know, it's happening to a lot of places at the minute, like Manchester, high-rise flats are going up and, and it's kind of pushing the locals out because the prices are going sky high. But I think Debbie feels that this would benefit the community because there'll be more jobs and um you know more people living there so she thinks she's doing it for the good and she you know she's she's a money person she's a business person unlike me so you know <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is she's doing it will be doing it to the detriment of her brother and and friends on the street you know if it, if, the, if it was people she didn't know you kind of go well business is business but when kevin finds out this is going to ruin their relationship well, this is the thing as well, because I think to myself, I get the script and I think, oh, she's be, oh, she's going to be really horrible to her brother. But she feels that she's going to do it and sort him out with a beautiful house. And, you know, she thinks that her way is the right way. And of course, people are just happy living there. But she thinks, no, I'll improve everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. A, a lot of things have changed so, over those 36 years. I mean, we saw Lynn Perry in the clip there, sadly, no longer with us there. Who, what, what familiar faces um, are, are there that, that you recognised and remembered and were glad to see? Tell you what, it's just wonderful to work, to go to work every day and see people like Mike Lavelle, Anthony Cotton, Jane Hazelgrove, people that I grew up with uh, in an Oldham Theatre workshop. So it's all my mates, really. But the difference is it's such fast pace. It's like 
I mean, it's wonderful how it all works and it all comes together and everybody works so well together. And But you just get your scripts and it's no, no rehearsal. Like we used to have rehearsal and then we used to have producers run and then a tech run and everybody used to get all dicky dolled up for the, uh, for the producers, you know. But now it's just literally learn the lines. In fact, my boiler man came yesterday and all my lines are plastered over at front room. <laughs> <laughs> like the generation game. And also, and also doing it in, in kind of COVID restrictions. That must have been very different for you. Very different, yeah, because we all have to be two metre distance and we get temperature checked when we go in. We have to wear masks down to the studio. All the, um, you know, directors and cameramen and, and people on the floor wear masks. So it's all very, very new and very odd. But you... you you fit in and you get used to it so quickly, you know, but it is a, it's a very odd and yeah. strange time. Yeah, in but our we're, we're, all, we're all very glad that they did get it back on, on the air. And also it's the 60th anniversary, so you must be pleased to be back for that as well. Absolutely, to be involved in that as well. And, and also, you know, to play, to, to be playing Debbie and to, to be so bad, you know, oh, to be the okay. villain. Yeah, it's you like, do it so well, Sue, you do it I'm so like, well. Oh, oh, Sue, welcome I'm back. Sorry. Lovely to see you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm trying not to get the glitter out, the panto glitter. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, we're loving watching this uh, story unfold. Uh, it's back on tonight at 7.30. Can't wait to see what's happening. Thank you very much, yeah. Sue. Really lovely to talk oh, to you. Thanks for having me. Thank you.